So today we are talking to Eric, showrunner of The Boys. Um, first question, do you find it more difficult to write original or adapted screenplays? Adapted is way harder. I, you know, I went into this thinking it was going to be easier because like I wouldn't have to think up all the ideas. Um, and it turned out to be super hard <laughs> because <laughs> it's this really stressful game of Jenga because you have to adapt it. It's a different medium. You have to change it for it to work and for it to breathe. Um, you have to add your own interpretation. Um, but at the same time, you know, you're worried that every little piece you pull or change is going to knock over the tower. And I mean, look, I'm doing this project because I love the comics. And so every day I like deal with the pressure of, am I going to be the guy who destroys the thing I love for the world, <laughs> you know? And so the stakes are really high and you just sort of proceed with uh, a lot of angst and second guessing and sleepless nights. For sure. Plus you happen to make a good season one. So everyone's expecting right. for a good season two. Yeah, I'm no, sure it's that's super not stressful. Like I'm going to end up being like the Mott the Hoople of TV shows. Like I'll just be a one hit wonder and, uh, and not reach that. So I, I felt really stressed making season two, like really <laughs> ma making sure it lived up to season one. Yeah. Um, how do you and Amazon decide what can go into the show and what can't? Um, I have to say they're really great about giving us the freedom to do what we want. Um, you know, they bring up some concerns now and again, but uh, mostly they're quite reasonable. Um, I, you know, I actually find like it, it's self-policed. Uh, you know, my mandate, my self-imposed mandate is um, it needs to, the crazy moments need to be character-based. They need to advance the characters in some way. Um, and if they don't, then they're just being shocking for shocking sake. And, and I don't put them in, but like, if they really teach me something, uh, then we have them. And I think that really grounds them. I think that's what makes them even more shocking, even in a way, because they mean something to the characters. There's emotional content there. So that to me is the rule. What some all, writers pitch me crazy shit all the time, but I say like, but if it doesn't, you know, inform the characters, then, you know, we're not going to do it. Makes sense to me. Yeah. Um, last season, you found yourself in the directing chair for the last episode. Did you direct any episodes this season? No, I did not. As much as I wanted to for like the most boring mundane reasons, which is uh, my wife needed me at home to, to deal with some stuff with my kids and, you know, just being a dad stuff. So uh, I want to get back up there um you know we'll see what happens in season three i think a lot of it is covid dependent um, but uh but yeah no i love directing it's so much more fun than writing <laughs> all right last question uh 30 second pitch why should people watch the boys specifically season two the boys is um a really fun show that takes the piss out of superheroes so if you're a little tired of superhero myth uh, this is a great antidote. It shows that superheroes are would really just be entitled celebrity scumbags, um, you know. And then on top of that, it 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 is a show that is really a satire of um, the moment we are living in right now. Um, so it has a lot of commentary and um, and it has penises and boobs. So what more do you want? Exactly. Well, thank you so much, Eric. Yeah, thank you, man.